Hello everyone, and welcome back for another playthrough of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're just going to continue what we did in the last two episodes by starting another Spriggan Scald to practice for week five of the Crawl Sudden Death Challenge. Uh, in the last game, we didn't actually die. Uh, well, we did, but it was uh, not an accident. Dungeon 3 was just so nasty last game. Uh, that I decided if this were my real tournament game, I would be suiciding to get my mulligan before I hit level 5. You know, which is kind of a disappointing way to go. But uh, I felt like I want to reproduce... I want to pretend this is the tournament as much as possible. And uh, speaking of, like, that, that knoll over there is horrifying. Like, ugh, you only get one mulligan. <laughs> I can't afford to fight a knoll right now. And that goblin made a bunch of noise, so we are going to have to be careful around that area. Uh, but, you know, Spriggan's really good. Hopefully I don't run into such a, a nasty early game this time. There were just three uniques, and they were not the easiest uniques like, either. Like, Grinder and Sigmund are generally regarded as like the two toughest uniques you can run into. And you can run them before Dungeon 3, I think, but uh, it's not common. You usually run into them later than that, I think. I'm not actually sure about that, though. Uh, but at any rate, like, you don't have to run into them at all in a game. Uh, and normally, you can just kill one of them if it, like, if you get the drop on it as a Spriggan, you can stab it, or... <laughs> You can avoid them, uh, which is what, of course, we have to do this game if we want the, the, the bonus tiers, which which definitely I do. They're worth even more this week because, well, I guess that's not true. Uh, you can get the one point for a unique if you give up on the, on the no uniques bonus challenge. But... So, so that means that the bonus challenge isn't exactly worth three points. Like, it's worth three points if you if you do get it, but if you choose not to take it, you're you're only giving up two points. Uh, I mean, you're kind of giving up three because you're giving up both tiers of the bonus challenge, tier one and tier two. Uh, why do I have eleven hit points? I thought I only had ten. That's weird. I must. Oh, I forgot to adjust my my training, and I was training fighting short blades and dodging and charms and like everything that you start out with, which I mean it's not so bad. Uh, I actually do want to train like some stealth immediately though, because that's going to be a key part of our plan this game, and I wonder like if I had a little more stealth, could I have avoided the problems I ran into? in the in the previous practice session maybe so i'm going to de-emphasize it like i said we're just uh, we're focusing short blades and training a little self but with an aptitude of plus five uh it's like it trains extremely quickly and spriggans also have like uh, a racial stealth bonus in addition to the fact that their aptitude is so high basically every race has a multiplier that their stealth gets that gets applied to their stealth uh not their stealth skill but like how stealthy you are once it's considered your skill and your armor and whatever else and spriggans are tiny so they get like a ridiculous stealth multiplier i think i i don't know the details okay but so I need to just not uh, get carried away with tapping because we're very evasion focused and so combat will seem like we're invincible and then suddenly you get hit once or twice and you're dead. Like here we're in the neighborhood of where that knoll was, I think. No, he's a little bit further north, but he could have wandered pretty far by now. And if I see him at all, I just need to get out of here. They are bad for business. Teleport trap, okay. 
There's the null. Wielding. Holy hell! <laughs> Whip of electrocution, huh? That is. This is not a halberd of electrocution, but geez. That's a. That is not something you want to see on dungeon like five. Forget about dungeon one. Let's shut this door. I don't, I don't know. I thought I was like sealing off line of sight from something, but I probably am not. Uh, Spriggans are just really, really fast. That's like their thing. They're fast and they're great at like everything. <laughs> uh, makes them a pretty strong, pretty strong at almost any background, really. You know, they're better at backgrounds where stealth is relevant, but you know, even Spriggan fighters are not bad. Spriggan berserkers are pretty reasonable. Uh, and Spriggans are just like, as fighters, they're pretty... It's one of the worst Spriggans you could pick, I think. I don't know. I mean, I'm... Scald is generally uh, scoffed at as a particularly... Not, not just for Spriggans, but in general, uh, a particularly weak start. Okay, did we finish? What is this, a stone? I don't, I don't need it that badly. Right, dungeon one looks done enough, and I don't want to chase down that knoll. So cool. Uh, there's a few scrolls, but I don't want to read them on D one where there was that knoll. Uh, so we should be able to stab this adder to death, I would think. Not quite. Ouch. So could die here. That could be the end of us. So I'm going to back up a bit. Attack. Attack. Attack? I should run away. Can't do it, guys. I can't run away. Obviously, I can. It's just he's severely wounded, and he's worth a lot of experience. And I'm having trouble forcing myself to run away, even though it's clearly the right thing to do for my tournament life. Yeah, yeah, let's run away. This is, all these attacks have been really bad. I can throw some stones if I really want to. Uh, it's risky, but... I just have to make sure that he doesn't, like, uh, yeah, even if you were, shouldn't fight him. Even if you were almost dead, it would be wrong to be tapping him. Because I, I think an adder who gets lucky here could one-shot us. Ring of Intelligence, that's pretty good. Another adder, Jeepers Creepers. Whoops. Jeez. The kobold didn't shout. That's great news. So we can run away. And he didn't wake up the adder. Wait, did he not wake up? He did, okay. With a few buffs, that kobold is not such a big deal. That fell down a shaft. All right. Jeez, all these adders, this is the worst. At least these enemies around here are quiet and they're not gonna wake up the adder, but I mean, an adder, it can be the end of you. As, as any character, let alone a fragile little Spriggan. I wonder if I'm like wrong to be training short blades so hard right now, if I should be working more on dodging. Normally, as a melee kind of character, you want to get your weapon to Mindelay right away. But I think being able to survive fights is more important as a Spriggan, maybe. Hmm. So probably put some into dodging as well. I don't think I can just stop training short blades. Getting them, getting the ability to do damage is still really important. But fortunately, stealth plus short blades lets us get stabs, and that's something Spriggans are really good at. So, I don't know. You could try to play this like a Spriggan enchanter, but you're missing. Uh, you're missing the spell book they start with that has a lot of the key tools. Um, that would uh, enable you to survive for so long with like basically no survivability training at all. Can I, I can memorize, no, I can't memorize anything yet. 
Whew, this is this is tough. Ash would be a great god, but not allowed for the challenge bonus. And there is something to be said for like just give up the challenge bonus, take Ash, right? Um, the thing is, I feel like this is an easy week. Like Sprig and Scald should be pretty good. And I don't know why I'm just running in, into like such nasty monster sets on every game. Maybe they're not nasty monster sets and Sprig and Scald is just weaker than I thought or I'm playing it wrong or something. So I don't know. That's I didn't really expect this to be something that came up on the practice game, but maybe I'm learning that it's not really that great of a character and I should be willing to give up a point or two. So far, you know, in the previous four weeks, I've gotten zero points once and the full 10 points three times. So I've been very, like, committed to getting all the bonus challenges. Um, but plenty of characters have taken, like, a nine or whatever, whether on purpose or not. Um, and, you know, there are lots of people getting zeros and, and ones and so on. But, like, of the players who are doing well, uh, I think I'm the only one who's gotten only tens and zeros. Um, you know, I think Lasty has a 10, a 9, a 4, and a 6 or something. Uh, something like that, 10. Yeah, that sounds right, because that puts him exactly one point behind me. Uh, and there's this adder who's awake finally. We finally run into an adder that is awake. Uh huh. At least our skills are easy to train. Hmm. If I could just find a blowgun, like everything would be easy. I'm gonna try backing up. Cast spectral weapon. That works. Okay. And Shroud of Galubria. Okay, so my infusion is not going to do much now because I'm out of magic to power it, but I should be able to hit him for a while with Shroud and hit him pretty hard because of the Spectral Weapon. See, the Spectral Weapon got in at the first hit and it almost killed him. Okay, cool. Spectral Weapon is a really... it's a great spell. I would love to put points into that too. Um, and maybe I should be, I don't know. Okay, let's try Shroud and Infusion. Okay, that went well. There's this adder, so I'm gonna try Spectral Weapon. If it doesn't work, I'll run away. Okay, that's fine. Try not to wake up this other adder, so come around this way. And uh, I'll wait here, see if he catches me. It looks like he's not going to. I do want to hunt down these adders. So I'm just going to cast Spectral Weapon until I get, you know, a hit, I guess, so to speak. Because, I don't know, I feel like with Shroud of Galubria and Spectral Weapon, we stand a pretty good shot. Maybe that's too aggressive, but I've got to get some experience. Like I gave up the last, the last practice game because I just couldn't get enough of a toehold on Dungeon Three to gain any experience from it, really. And you can't. Uh, I am quite poisoned. He's heavily wounded. I should run away. That's what I should do. I know it's tempting to attack and like roll the dice and probably be fine, but I should just run away. So that's what I'm going to do. And I can shut the door on him and rest here. He wasn't here. I thought he might be just waiting around the other side of the door.
See, like these adders, I mean, with infusion is a, a weak spell, but early on it's not too bad. And adders don't have that much hit points. That many hit points? I'm not really sure. That much health. Uh, so if you get like any kind of good hit at all, they will fall apart. The question is, oh, yeah, it's still the same adder there. I figured uh, he would have gotten up by now. Now he has. Okay, level four, good. Okay. Any exclusions left? No. I know there's at least one adder still wandering around, but I'm not gonna try and hunt him down. Not the best potions, huh? Enchant up this robe? Yes, please. No, nah, let's not forget a spell. Blinking fog, okay. Drop that, drop that. Okay, how are our skills looking? I would like Spectral Weapon to be a little bit more powerful, but I think I need to get my own short blade delay up. So the Spectral Weapon attacks whenever you attack, basically, and it's fast enough that it can do so every time you attack. So you, just by training your own skill with a weapon, you can improve Spectral Weapon's performance. A nice thing about Spectral Weapon is what just happened here. You can uh, this, The Spectral Weapon can distract it, and then you get like a distraction stab. Won't happen all the time, but sometimes is nice. Stealth continuing to go up. Uh, we're still level 4, uh, which is not relevant since we're pretending that we've already used our mulligan. If this were a real tournament game, uh, well, it would matter whether we use our mulligan, which we're pretending we have. So because of that, that first practice game. I just, I don't know why Sprig and Scald is so bad. <laughs> and it's not bad, like I've been able to, I don't know, it just feels bad, I guess. This is a lot of armor for a Spriggan to have so early. Two different sets of plus two armor uh, helps a lot, having seven armor versus like two. Why all the rats? At least something saw me, so come on down. Really? You're not coming? There we go. Okay, don't really need spectral weapon for a rat, but I still feel better with one. Cool. I am miscasting that a lot. I just don't want to fight in this like grid actually because it's really hard for both me and my spectral weapon to be able to hit something. Dagger. So that would be okay, Natasha. So we're not allowed to kill her for the unique bonus or for the challenge bonus. Ugh. Even though if we did kill Natasha, she would just come back to life. Natasha, she's a cat. She's got three lives. Uh, but you, you just are not allowed to kill her. And she's fast as heck. Please, Natasha. I mean, she's not as fast as a Spriggan. So we can just leave. But uh, Magic Dart is a big, big threat for a Spriggan early. It's not really the spell I meant to cast, but I'll take it, I guess. Okay. There's a giant frog, which is in red. Uh, okay, exit stage left, I guess. Try the third staircase. That giant frog, man. We seem to have done an end run around Natasha, at least. We're going to be running away from a lot of uniques this game. You know, unless we were so lucky, and which is the right thing to do most of the time anyway. Especially as a Spriggan Scald to run away. But as a Spriggan, you often get offered a stab, basically, where you see a unique and it's like... <clears throat> it's asleep, it's a couple tiles away, 
and you say, oh, I'll try stabbing it, and you walk up and it doesn't wake up, so you just kill it in one hit. We have wizardry. Oh, that's actually a big help. We're getting some big help on uh, getting our spells castable without having to invest in them. There's Egypt. He's asleep. We'll just ignore him, I guess. And this giant frog. <sighs> I mean, with a potion of might, spectral weapon, Galubria. So first of all, it's just like a spectral weapon in Galubria. We might kill it. Um, I feel like it merits a potion of might if we do decide to fight it, but there's a lot to be said for choosing not to fight it. Uh, it is fast, but not as fast as a Spriggan. Uh, but it's almost all that's left of Dungeon 3 that we can get to is, is in this area where there's this frog. And I... I don't really want to go to down to dungeon four at level four. <sighs> well, I could cast Spectral Weapon and then Shroud of Galubia, and if they both work, drink Might and fight him. And if like either one fails, I could run away, try again. I feel like the smarter thing to do is still to just run away. But at some point you have to start killing things, don't you? Or you're just going to be forever behind? How many stairs have I found on this floor? Found all of them, plus a hatch in each direction. And there could be an altar back in here too, as well, so that's sort of dangerous to skip. But I feel like the thing to do is just giant frog or XP. Note note this down and get get a move on. Go find a staircase and go downstairs. I don't like it. Now there's this ogre, which like, uh, if I get a stab, I probably do kill it actually, but I don't get the stab. Ugh, this is a nightmare. Just not not being allowed to kill hardly anything. A hound, like that's manageable, right? Almost got the stab. And we're getting a lot of experience for the stuff we're killing because we're skipping a, a lot of experience. Statues, why are there statues here? Oh, it's a gravestone. Kiku altar, maybe? Could be Yoretta Lemnul. Could just be decorative gravestones, apparently. Cool, so now if we wanted to, we could skip yet another dungeon floor. I feel like uh, that would be disaster. There's a, I mentioned Robin accounts a while ago, where you, um, you know, just the various servers have an account set up named Combo Robin or Mummy Robin or Drunk Robin. You're only allowed to play while you're drunk or whatever. Um, there's one called Iron Robin where the rule is, as soon as you see a downstair, you must take it, and you can never take an upstair until you get to depths five, and then you just have to get to depths five and leave the dungeon alive. Uh, so I feel like, I mean, people have done that, I think, or maybe somebody came very close. I saw uh, a, uh, an Iron Robin replay where he actually got to depths five, but then died shortly thereafter feels bad. Um, I don't know. So maybe we could do something like that, but I really don't want to. I want to just start killing stuff so that 
I can be like reasonably leveled for where we are at this point. Okay, there's a jackal. One jackal is fine, a lot of jackals is less fine. An ogre is also less fine. I would think I said, I was at least thinking, if I had a blowgun, like, the entire early game would just melt away. Because brigands can kite like crazy, and blowguns do a lot of damage from range. And we found a lot of needles. Um, I guess I'm going to try throwing some stones at this ogre. And I'll try getting a hit on him. Even though, in theory, if he gets lucky, he could just instantly kill me in one hit, I think. But just, you know, that experience oh, feels so much better. I picked up like a level, almost a whole level from that, I think. I'm now halfway through level five. Um, and it just feels a lot better. <laughs> Uh, do I need to adjust my training at all? I don't think so. We're we're sort of well uh, well healed at the moment, I guess, in that we had all of our buff spells up and going. Spectral weapon and shroud. Uh, the shroud has fallen off, but what, which one am I fighting? This is the giant frog. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Killing stuff, it's all coming together, guys. Uh, I actually feel comfortable training up a little bit of hexes, because I think Spectral Weapon is the main spell I'm using. Uh, I'm gonna train Regen as well. Oops, there we go. One of these days, one of these days, I'm going to set my config file to put the spells on the letters I want them to begin with. But until that day, I'm just going to keep adjusting it every day, every time I learn a spell like an idiot. Two knolls, a whip and a spear. Ah, oh right, this is the one with the spear. This one has a whip. Okay, we're going to have to run away in a sec, but I want to see if I can get a kill on this knoll first. Nope, apparently I can't. All right, that's fine. Jeez, even just hitting... Yeah, that ogre... How much damage is two exclamation points, anyway? Two exclamation points is 17 to 35. So... I'm not sure how much it shares with me, I took six damage, so less than half, apparently. Uh, but, like, that ogre, man. Ogres... I already took a chance with one ogre. I don't... I don't know that I want to do that anytime soon. But I totally do. I want experience. It's just not the right thing to do, which is totally different. Okay, but the gnolls, gnolls are fine experience. We can prey upon them. Let's grab a bunch of dexterity. Uh, because I'm not yet sure whether... Like, it's possible I could go trog. I would lose access to my spells, but you gain access to trog, so there's that. Um... So I'm trying not to necessarily invest in intelligence because you never know, like that might become totally irrelevant if I just if I pick up Trog. Okay, here's this dang ogre again. And I feel like at 30 health, I'm kind of okay. I'm very unlikely to be one shot, right? He does have a giant spike club. Uh, and there's this knoll as well, so maybe we gotta back off. I guess the knoll is not really a big concern. Only one of them can fight me at a time. And if I run away from one, I'm running away from both. So. Uh, let's put up infusion as well. Like, why not? And throw stuff at these guys. OK, 
Okay, we're fighting one turn at a time, though. So you got to be alert to like when, say, that happens. Oh, he's almost dead. Okay, that was bad play. That was bad play. I should have run away and just come back. You got to be so patient on a Spriggan, and I know I'm just not taking this game quite as seriously as I should be. Uh, it's I know it's really just a practice game, and so I'm taking risks that I feel like I would not take in the tournament. So maybe I should be scrapping these practice games to avoid getting into bad habits. Uh, I mean, maybe. At least I'm aware that I'm making these stupid plays. Uh, I think there are a lot of people who would make a play like that and maybe think it's fine. I certainly have done that in my life a lot of times. Is the practice game helping me if all it does is make me recognize that I'm playing badly? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's telling me to wait until tomorrow to play my real character. I just had this brief fear of like, am I recording? But yeah, I'm totally recording. Audio is great. Cool. Uh, okay, more zombies. And I guess I should be searching for better engagement there, but I didn't think the zombies were too big a deal. I should have tried to one-on-one -on -one them. Well, two-on-one -on -one because I have uh, this spectral weapon. Uh, I'm, I should rest. I don't have any magic. There we go. This looks like uh, a vault of some sort. Magical power. Uh, no thanks. I think wizardry is... Actually, yeah, wizardry is still better because we don't... Uh... Spectral weapon is down to 7%, which is fantastic. Uh, the spell power is not great, but the intelligence is helping. Ah, the temple! And Sigmund! Oh! Disaster strikes! What do I do? I can't kill him. <laughs> this is so cruel. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I really need to get into the temple segment. <laughs> Why? Why is this happening to me? Uh... <sighs> All right, how likely is his confusion to work? 26. Do I have any curing? No. If he confuses me, I'm dead. More or less. Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm just going to have to not go to the temple for quite some time until I can safely come back and ignore Sigmund. Oh, well, now he's awake. That's interesting. Sigmund at temple. Sounds kind of Jewish. Is he? Yeah, he is opening the door. Aha, bet you can't find me now, Sigmund. He's awake anyway, so I... Whoop! Uh-oh. I thought I would, I thought I would run around him. It didn't work. Huh? Huh? Gotcha. He's gonna be waiting for me on the way up, though, which I don't appreciate at all. <laughs> How'd we do? We found Okawaru. All right, that's probably my god of choice. Uh, but let's finish exploring the temple. There's Trog. There's Nemelex. So they're all here. All the gods we could want. Uh, those are the three gods for this week. And... Yeah, I think we just take Okawaru. There's really no... No two ways about it. Trog is good, but... We are using our magic effectively, and I don't want to stop doing that. And magic will help us avoid uniques, where Trog would help us kill them. All our spells now help us kill them as well, but we'll get spells later. Nemelex is an interesting one. You know, Spriggans have, I think, pretty good evocations aptitude. Yeah, quite good. Uh, so you could use his cards to good effect. 
But I think I'd rather just have Okawaru. You know, heroism is amazing. And getting gifts of armor that fit a Spriggan is kind of cool. The trick is going to be getting out of the, the temple uh, with Sigmund sitting on it. Yes, join this religion now. What we're going to do... I haven't found teleportation yet, have I? No, so it's quite possible, indeed perhaps even likely, that one of these stacks is teleportation. So I'm going to read it, and if I... Ah! Teleportation! I'm going to skip, like, one turn, and then go upstairs. Yes. No! I shouldn't have skipped the turn! Oh, disaster! That was like a very fast teleport. All right, so I wasted a scroll of teleportation. Ugh, what an idiot. I was just trying to minimize the number of times Sigmund got to hit me, which is silly, because once I teleport away, I'm kind of safe. So let's just go upstairs. Yes. And we teleported away uh, as soon as we end upstairs. Good. Wow. Well, honestly, that went okay. <laughs> Uh, I wasted a scroll of teleportation, which I'll feel bad about when I need to run from something and can't. But for now, you know, I found a god. Uh, and we're done with dungeon four, so let's go. Uh, maybe, like, after dungeon five, it might be time... Cheapers, creepers. Might be time to go back to that giant frog we left on dungeon three yeah but there's just all that other nest oh. oh i can't kill him i'm not allowed to kill him jesus christ this game here's pikel there's all this stuff you can't kill it's more frustrating than i thought it would be What is this? A new scroll. Oh my god, please! Ugh. I mean, we just gotta run away from everything. Yeah, I got stabbed. Okay, so our stabs do a lot of damage. Okay, can I stop training hexes? I guess I'll let it get to level 2. I'm going to try to stab this ogre. Yeah. So, stealth and short blades are doing well here. I'm going to switch to charms, I guess. Because I have, you know, some other spells that I would like to improve. There's Duvesa, and presumably Doan is around there somewhere. You know, I played some games earlier where I only ran into, like, two uniques before the end of Lair. And I ran away from those, but running away from two uniques is way easier than running away from two uniques per floor. Okay, there we go. Got a bunch of Okawaru piety for that, I guess. Uh, if you've seen my earlier videos, in at least one of them, I took Okawaru, and uh, he likes you to kill dangerous foes. Uh, he is not very impressed by killing, you know, random garbage that is easy for you. A teleport trap and a weapon shop, eh? With a with traps on it. All right, I'm gonna go shopping. There's the Arbalest Hellfire, and a Lagitang. That's a pretty good Spriggan weapon. I mean, it's a pretty good weapon for anybody, uh, but it's a, a two-handed weapon that Spriggans can use. Most of the biggest two-handers Spriggans can't really use. But I'm kind of invested in stealth and short blades. I don't know. And, like, Hellfire is not really a thing right now. Uh, so we gotta get out of here, though. Like, this alarm trap. I feel like this is a, this vault, I don't know, maybe it was a coincidence, but I feel like this shop vault has alarm traps around it, like, on purpose. 
It could easily be a coincidence. Oh my god, please! I need to find some stairs. What is Pykel wielding? A whip of flaming? Not so bad. Okay. Prince Ribbit blinked. So we can get around these guys for the moment. This is why avoiding uniques is like a Spriggan thing. Okay. We made it. So now Sigmund knows where we are, though. So we gotta get to another staircase. Okay. Fine. We're okay for the moment. Jeez. This is... This is stressful, but a lot of fun. Uh, it's certainly presenting me with challenges I wouldn't have in free play, I guess. You might call it. Why is this excluded? Doan and Dubessa might be able to see me. Okay. And let's just exclude like this general area as well, because you never know where Doan might be. Of course, they woke up from the alarm trap. So forget all these stupid exclusions. I don't know where any of the bad guys on this floor are, and we just have to avoid them all forever. Like Metal Gear Solid now. Metal Gear... Is Metal Gear Solid the name of the series, or of like one game in the series? I don't really know. Killer bees are faster than a Spriggan, which I don't appreciate. Actually, are they? I think so. I think they're like, yeah. But they're also really dumb. Uh, there's Prince Ribbit. All right, we got to go. Uh. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Ah! Oh, oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I was running away from the elves and I saw and and I didn't go to the stairs, I went the other way. Do I just teleport? Is that what I'm gonna do? It seems like the best option I have. I can't deal with these killer bees, I don't think. I mean, maybe I can, but one or two stings and they'll kill me. No poison resistance, not that much armor. And then there's Prince Ribbit in the back, who I'm going to have to run from anyway. At least my spectral weapon is like immune to poison. Can I get to this staircase? Maybe I can get them to lose track of me. Okay. I'm poisoned. How bad? Pretty bad. Alright, we gotta teleport. And just run away from this stupid bee. This is terrible. Come back down here. There's Duvessa! Like, oh my god! I don't want to give up on all these points. Like, could I really just settle for seven points because I have to kill some uniques? Do I dive some more? What do I do? Just keep running away? I'm running out of places to run, and they keep cornering me together with other monsters that I would like to fight. I mean, I don't know that I would have liked to fight those killer bees, but it would have been nice to have it as an option, you know? Oh, Prince Ribbit, how can you be everywhere all at once? Alright, got another scroll of teleportation. Now I can kill that stupid gecko. There's Pykel. He shouts. There's Prince Ribbit. Let's go this way, I guess. Oh no, slaves! Uh, Prince Ribbit has blinked. If I run south, 
I'm fairly confident the slaves will block my escape and I'll have to teleport. If I go northwest, I should be able to dart through the corridor. I could maybe even go behind Pykel? No. Okay. So I could pass this turn. He would move closer, and then I could go like this to get around to not go up this way where Prince Ribbit is probably going to be. Of course, you know, he could have linked it down here. That's a possibility. Um, actually, better than passing... Let's spend, like, a little bit less than a turn by swinging my weapon. Okay. Now... Yeah, he only gets one attack that way. That's nice. And there's Doan, of course. And here's Prince Ribbit. Ugh. I got around Pykel, but... I really need Prince Ribbit to blink. I guess I'll just keep running away? This is, uh, this is horrible. <laughs> How can you live like this? I mean, it's working. All the staircases, though, are kind of a mess. Like, if I run to this one, then how safe is this one really going to be? Uh. And he's blinking randomly. He caught up to me. But, you know, now he lost me, so... All right, so I'm going to try again to just get across the map here. But there's Dolan and Duvesa again. Duvesa has agility, so it's nice to have that identified. There's Prince Ribbit! Oh. Is there an escape hatch on the previous level, maybe, that I could try? It looks like there's one. Uh, this is horrible. Okay. It's got me across the problem zone. Although I sort of expect the problem zone to continue growing. A centaur? Where was the centaur? I need to know that. Uh, was there, like, something in here that I wanted to buy? Not really. I mean, the, the Lagitang, I guess. So let's uh, put that on the list. There we go. Jeez. All right, so we're, we're doing okay <laughs> in the sense that we are not yet dead. But geez, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. I wonder if it's going to be like, once you get to a certain level, the challenge gets a lot easier, or if it's just going to be a nightmare all game long. There's the slave. I'm worried Pykel is probably nearby. Yeah, I didn't want to fight him right there. If I pull back a little bit, I can kill a slave, but you don't get any experience for it. You only get experience if you kill Pykel. So it would only be worth doing to, like... Uh, simplify this floor a bit. Which, you know, this floor could use some simplifying. A phantom. I have a chance against a phantom, I think. And I, I just have to be, like, greedy and try to get some experience because I'm running from everything. Oh, come on, you stupid friggin' spectral weapon. You can't get in front of me like that. Okay, kill the phantom, kill the phantom, got the phantom, got the skeleton. Whew. Uh, can we make it back up to dungeon three? I feel like we're kind of ready for a giant frog now. Uh, on the other hand, I guess we've... Uh. I should have run down those stairs. Let's see if... Yeah. 
Ah, okay, we are we are out of here. Yes. Cast shroud and just like try to kill a bee, I guess. Jesus. Ugh. Why is this so hard? Well, here's a giant frog, but also a worker ant. And a centaur. All right, that's awful. We're out of teleport. This is getting really dire. Here's what I think I gotta do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step south here. Try to stab this ant. Didn't work. Quaff might. Okay, we got him. Where did that frog go? There he is. I'm gonna try to kill this stuff now while I'm buffed. Can I find the centaur? There's a slave. But there's also Doan. Okay. This is not going great, but I am killing some things. Doan and Duvesa have now both seen me recently. Neither of these stairs are safe at all. I guess this one's not too bad. Probably. I guess I just go downstairs, like, and abandon all this. Dungeon 6. Dungeon 6 the dream. It's going to be real easy, guys. Guaranteed. Look at this. Just an adder, right? Okay. You know, GG, we win. Dungeon 6, too easy. Like, this This is what it should be like. All right, I picked up heroism. That's going to help a lot, I feel like. Oh. Um, yeah, this uh, this video, for a video that went to Dungeon 6, this has taken quite a while. So I'm going to cut this here, and I'll be right back. Thanks for watching.